thank you. Thank you all so much for being here, uh, close to my hometown, and I'm glad that my husband and my girls could be here even though they have such sad faces. Not this one, she's over it. <laughs> National Novel Writing Month. Uh, it happens every year during November, so we are there. We're almost halfway through National Novel Writing Month. And it's a great challenge, great community. I have done it many, many times. Almost, not all, but almost all of my books started life as nano novels. Uh, so I'm a huge advocate for it. And as a matter of fact, yes, I am doing it this year. Um, I wasn't able to do it last year because of my deadlines, but this year I am using it to try to complete book three of the Renegades trilogy. Who had their hand up? Who's doing it? Show me again. How's it going? How about we in the back? How's it going? Me? Yeah, not quite the back. <laughs> three quarters back. It's going okay. I'm at like 17,000. 17? That's yeah. That's great. <laughs> Excellent. Great. Well done. And as a matter of fact, I do. I do have advice for aspiring writers. Um, there's one piece of advice that I really wish someone had told me when I was young and aspiring. I don't know that I would have listened to it. I probably would have totally ignored the advice. Nevertheless, I think it would have been really good for me to hear. Um, and that is to be patient with yourself and to be kind to yourself and your creativity. Uh, and the reason that I say this is because for me, like I wanted to be a writer my whole life. This was my dream since I was a little girl. I desperately wanted to see my name on the cover of a book. Uh, I, I just wanted it so bad. And so I started trying to write my first original novels when I was a teenager. And I would set these goals for myself that would be like, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have this book finished by the end of summer, and I'm gonna have an agent by Christmas, and I'm gonna be published by like next Tuesday. <laughs> and I would just set these, these you know, crazy fantastic goals for myself, and then I would start working toward them, and what do you know? The book isn't working, and oh, it's terrible, and it's not coming out how I thought it would, and oh, I have to throw this one away and start all over again, and oh, this book is also terrible, and why is this so hard, and why can't I do this, and suddenly I'm in college, and I'm still not published, and then I'm graduated, I'm still not published. And every time I would start a new book, or, or give up on a book and throw a draft away, I would get so frustrated with myself. I would just get so angry about it. Like, why is this so hard? Why is this taking me so much time? And now, in hindsight, I can look back and realize, like, all of those drafts, all of those stories that I was working on and, and ultimately throw away, they felt like wasted time back then, but they weren't wasted time. Like, that's what I needed to do to learn how to tell a story, how to write characters, how to do this thing where we create a novel. And if I hadn't done those, then obviously I never would have gotten to the point where I could have written Cinder. Um, so I wish that I would have been less focused on getting published. Getting published is awesome. It's the best thing that's ever happened to me, save my husband and children. <laughs> Um, and it's a totally worthy, wonderful goal to have. But don't be so focused on getting published that you don't stop to occasionally look around and realize that the act of writing can be really fun and really magical. So make sure that you're also taking the time to enjoy that process. And that's my advice for you. Hello, how are you? Uh, water. I, I write very complex outlines. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! She signed it. <laughs> it was great. It was just great, and Marissa Meyer and I talked about NaNoWriMo, and she answered my question, and she said that she's a plotter, not a pantser, and... It was just awesome and great and grand and it was just such a great wrap up to a rough day and a rough week and a rough month so yay if you have not read any of Marissa Meyer's books I absolutely recommend them I started off by reading um, the first book in the Lunar Chronicles Cinder 
and then all of the rest of the Lunar Chronicles. Cress is my favorite one, and she signed that one for me, and it's great. And she also did a retelling of the Red Queen, which is Heartless, and that is one of my top books just ever. It is very well done, and I very much enjoy that book. And then Renegades, which is about, um, it's in like an alternate universe kind of based off of Manhattan and also kind of like the same vibe as Gotham City, but not Gotham City. And it's basically these superheroes who are trying to be the all good guys, but of course they can't do everything so they've, you know, messed up a lot. And then, um... The main character, Nova, she's been kind of personally wronged by a, a screw-up from the superheroes, so she's kind of like the anti-hero of it, but then she kind of infiltrates the superheroes, and a whole bunch of stuff happens, and it's great, and I love it, and the second book just came out, Arch Enemies, and I pre-ordered that one, so in the paperback of Renegades, there is like this little compilation of all the names of the people who pre-ordered Arch Enemies, and my name is on there, and it's just really great. And uh, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to hit the like or subscribe button or the little bell icon if you would like to be notified the next time I post a new video. That would be lovely. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye!